My name is Emily Rodriguez. I'm a detective with the Chicago Police Department with the Special Investigations Unit, which is a unit that deals with all sex crimes against children and child pornography. I grew up in the Edgewater area. My mother worked double shifts. My father worked at a factory. My parents, although they wanted us to become part of this culture, which was great, um, they still were trying to cling on to the old culture, so it was a back and forth. As I grew up as a teenager, I was sent to live in Central America um, where I studied for my high school years. It did make me proud of who I am, where I come from, where my family came from. It helped me understand them better. As I got into my career, I was able to relate a little better sometimes with some of the families I deal with on a daily basis. To be honest, growing up, my mom and my family were uh, pretty afraid of the police. I didn't tell my mother till I was starting the academy. At first she was really nervous and upset, so at first I couldn't wear the uniform in front of her. It had to be a gradual thing for her. Now she's very proud of me, but it took a little while for her to understand. Some have negative perception of what the police do or how we handle things, and I do understand that. We're not all the same and patience has given me a lot. Knowing when to stop and just listen and understand where they're coming from, then I can help them a little bit better. I believe I am part of something bigger in each family I deal with. Each family I deal with has different issues uh, amongst the crimes that have been committed. For me, I can't put everyone into one lump sum. They're all so different. Each person I've dealt with has a different way of seeing things, has a different background, has a different um, experience. When I see all the insults and um, the negativity, obviously first and foremost, it does sadden you. It, it, it makes you um, a little anxious. I want to be treated well, and I want to treat you the way I'd want to be treated, or I'd want someone, a loved one, to be treated. I make mistakes, I try to learn from them, and I try to be a better person from the mistakes I make. Communication is the key to just about anything. Once there's a little more understanding, which comes with the communication, then the resolutions start to come in. Um, we might not all agree on the same things, but we can come to resolutions that might surprise us as the police and might surprise the citizen as well. If I was a superintendent, uh, one thing I would change, more cultural diversity amongst the officers, so maybe a more um, a deeper immersion into other cultures that we deal with amongst the communities here in Chicago because they are so diverse. I'm the most proud when someone comes to me and is just appreciative of the help. Um, where I feel that they were served the best they could have been, um, regardless of what they thought the outcome was going to be, that they felt they were heard. I would tell a young police officer to be patient, to learn to sit back and listen, and to breathe. Mami, gracias por todo lo que has hecho por mí. Gracias por tu paciencia y tu amor. Eh, Espero que yo te haya hecho muy orgullosa um, y que puedas seguir haciéndolo si es que es así.